Hi, I'm Jacob Hornberger, president of the Future of Freedom Foundation. Like his opponents for the GOP presidential nomination, Marco Rubio believes in immigration controls and condemns the libertarian idea of open borders. And yet for many years, he was proudly proclaiming how his parents fled Cuban communist tyranny under Fidel Castro to come to the United States in what amounts to an open border policy. That is, when Cubans come here, there are no waiting lines, application processes, rules, regulations, or other rigmarole. They're in automatically. Open borders for Cuban refugees. But after the news media did some digging, it turns out that Rubio was wrong. His parents actually came here three or four years before Castro took power. During the U.S.-supported dictatorship of the brutal tyrant, Fulgencio Batista, who Castro removed from power. I wonder if it's possible that Rubio is just embarrassed to suggest that the U.S. does support dictatorships, not only in Cuba, but in Egypt today, Saudi Arabia, Chile under Pinochet, and many others. As it also turns out, his parents were extremely poor. His mother was a housekeeper in a hotel. They're the very types of people that Emma Lazarus is talking about in her poem at the base of the Statue of Liberty. They're the very type of people who are trying to come into the United States today from Latin America, seeking, like his parents sought, economic opportunity, the chance to better their lives. I wonder if the GOP would be better off if it renamed itself the GHP, the Grand Hypocritical Party.